exactly. Yeah. They deserve it. Big shout out to all our volunteers, of course, making this possible. Seriously, it takes so many people to come together and put this event on, including even the players being down to stay after hours to play an exhibition like this. They've all got top 128 tomorrow afternoon, but you know what? They're here for content. They're here for their regions. Well, they're trying to rep hard. We know that Florida is going to sweep pretty quickly, so I don't think they're too worried about that bedtime. Yeah, 30-0 from the king himself. All right, guys, we're about to get into it. Make some noise one last time while we're on the house. Let's hear it, everybody for Georgia and Florida versus Tri-State as we get into the first game on Town and City. The buzz with the Olimar coming out. A little bit of an interesting pick against Steve, especially considering this is the character that he lost to Jake with that one year ago. But most of the time, I would expect him to have that Min Min pick on lock against Steve. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, you don't even have to deal with the blocks if you can strike them from so far away. I feel like there's a lot of advantages to being Min Min in that matchup. That said, Tri-State crew did not know Jake was coming up first, right? So True. no character counter. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, once he Device, sees Jake, Device yeah. could have have just gone a different character. Yeah, but I also could have think the, the big strategy here is he's going to try and stick Jake with Pikmin, and then once Jake starts running away or like uh, setting up block walls, DeBuzz can just like safely sit there and watch him get damage racked up on him. Yeah, something to make you second guess all that camping, right? You have to take extra time to swat the Pikmin off of you. Even still, Jake kind of find a time already got diamond. Ready? Oh, that's not good. This is the buzz we're talking about, though. I don't think he's going to let that phase him one bit. If you don't get hit, it doesn't matter what weapon Steve the, has. The scary thing in crew battles, though, that I'm a little bit worried for the buzz with and very happy for Jake with is with diamonds, where stocks are so important, he's just going to get random back air kills, random F smash kills. It's in his name for a reason, and that's so, so valuable in a crew setting because he can just swing to his heart's content and find value. Yeah, Jake really does favor that forward smash. It's like a clutch kill option, and even just as a neutral tool sometimes. Great counter poke. That little extra bit of power and reach compared to the rest of Steve's moves. But that said, to Buzz, he's putting in that work right now. I mean, we actually need to extend the timer on this. I don't think it's at risk of going to time. But, I mean, I guess if it's the first match, we could technically have it go to time, and it wouldn't affect anything for the crew battle. Yeah, uh, crew battle, usually, for those of you who don't know, no timer. You cannot time somebody out in a crew battle. And I guess if it does happen, we'll just reset to where we were with stocks and percents as close as we can. But the way that DeBuzz is playing right now, uh, Jake's going to need to make something happen very soon, or Florja might start regretting this initial pick. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. So far, the buzz kind of crushing it. This was the missing piece from Let's Make Mo uh, Moves Miami, right? This is the guy that we didn't have that could have pulled a lot of weight. That the fearless one captain, you guys too. By? Yeah, right? He's, he's just putting himself on that suicide mission. He's like, yo, I'm going in, and I want to go home immediately after. So I'm leading the charge, and you guys take it from here. Putting up that wall again. Nothing on him, but now the white connects, and Jake has to, to redirect a little bit, but the damage is already done. Damage done right back, though. The up smash takes out DeBuzz's first stock. And especially with Diamond in hand, I wouldn't say 59% or 62 or whatever he builds up to with these Pikmin is all that meaningful because we've all seen what one up tilt could do from Steve. Yeah, I mean, this character is kind of a scam, right? I can see why Listen, DeBuzz might potentially not be winning that hard right now, but he's going to clutch it out. We have twice as many Steves as Tri-State does on their crew, and that's why I'm very confident. Aren't you on Team Liquid? How do you pick a favorite here? It's I'm not bracket. I'm telling your manager. I'm taking your job, bro. <laughs> it's not bracket. It doesn't. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Stuart, please. You're not trying to skim part of his winnings? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to skim Jake's winnings this time around. Yeah, you know what? If you were the coach for this team, which you should have been, because they probably need it, I could see you taking a fee. I don't think they need oh, it in the on. slightest. He really almost died to that forward smash. His name is literally he Jake really F smash. Almost died to that. All His right. name is Come literally on, Jacob F smash. You got this. Yeah, get him off you. We got the purple Pikmin still intact. Jacob oh. F smash. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm here for something like that. Even at the price of one tri-state stock, that's fucking epic. I want to get the crowd riled up. That's that's all I care about here. Dead even in the crew battle right now, but Jake pulls ahead to an early lead on this stock. 35% on the buzz and. He starts letting more of those trademarked F smashes rip. Buzz could be losing this pretty soon, especially on town. Yeah, he's kind of taking a beating here, but that's fine. You know, building up some rage, right? Making sure that purple Pikmin forward smash kills extra, extra early. 64. Yes, sir. Rack it up, baby. All right, classic all mark combos right here. Oh, why are you mashing on that anvil? The buzz knows. That has some startup frames to it. Especially with a move like Pikmin up air, you can clank through it. Steve's anvil, a lot of people give it a little bit too much respect, I think. It's not that good. Yeah, very true. I think people overcorrected, right, after seeing how broken it was. It's like, all right, I'm not fucking with that whatsoever. I'm staying very far away. Yeah, definitely a move, like, especially characters like Whoa! I Thank you, Town. Jake only lived that because of Town. Yeah, it's his best stage, we know. 
Got to find a way back up on stage, though, and that's oh, going no, to be no, it. No, it's not. No. Uh, yes. Thank you, Town. Whew. Town's so playing, playing both playing sides. On this excellent stage. <laughs> it all comes out even. Oh, and he waited it out, knowing the signature board smash was coming out. The buzz. Do it again. That veteran patience. Oh, oh right in the fucking no, head. No, no, oh, no, it wasn't no. enough. No, no, no. Steve. Oh, get sent to hell, brother. Jake, I love you, man. We actually share a birthday. We share many similar interests, but I'm going to have to wish Jake farewell as he makes his exit from this crew battle. First man down to buzz already showing what he's got. We were missing this guy big time down in Miami, but very fortunately, he's here for us right now. Oh, PK Chris taking Yo, the mic. What's what? good? Is it on? Yeah, it's on. You guys lost to a guy in an astronaut suit? He went, to Na he went to NASA. You went to NASA, right? You went to NASA. You been to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> you were Dude, that was incredible. You beat the Steve of all, all characters? I know, Steve all Try say, I'm gonna need you guys to talk some free. real shit, please. Don't let me down. I think this is guaranteed. We got the first three stocks. Hey guys, it's VG Bootcamp's very own Logic here. I hope you're enjoying all the great tournament action, but I wanna tell you about something else that you're gonna enjoy. This video sponsor, Flash Party. Flash Party is a cross-platform fighter that I've been playing non-stop since I got my hands on it. Like, no, seriously. I have almost 24 hours into the game and I may or may not have owned it for only three days. Flash Party is a free to play game and is officially hitting Steam January 10th. If you wanna show support, use our link to go download it or add it to your Steam wishlist and give it a try. Flash Party has the core of what you'd expect out of a platform fighter, you know, such as combos, plenty of stages and a diverse pool of heroes. But what really sets the game apart, you know, aside from the beautiful animations and fun gameplay, of course, is the massive customization you can do to your heroes. The game does a great job of allowing you to adjust your character into a playstyle that's unique to you without taking away from the fundamentals I love to see in a fighting game, such as spacing, execution, and decision making. You can level up each character, which increases your base attack and defense. You can fine tune your character with red and yellow stickers, which augment things like your speed, offense, or durability. The changes per sticker are small, but you get five slots for each. So together, it can make a huge difference. The most important part of the colorful system though, has to be the blue stickers. You only get two slots to work with, but this is because you can do major things like change a particular move, or add new properties to a character's passive, or even attacks. This is a unique addition to Flash Party and it really allows you to set your playstyle apart from others. On top of all this, a new hero system was just added which really takes the game to new heights. Every hero is now labeled as either an all-rounder, assaulter, powerhouse, or impeder. The assaulter heroes can cancel the end lag of certain moves generally with a jump cancel or a dash. The impeder heroes gain a buff to their throws after hitting their opponent's shield. Powerhouse heroes do more damage the higher their KO score gets. And the all-rounder heroes can charge three gauges based on their up, down, or side attack hitting the opponent. Once all the directional gauges are full, your hero can use a much more powerful neutral special. This is definitely an easy to play, but hard to master game with a huge skill ceiling. You can parry, dodge, tech, like you're even rewarded with more damage for counter hitting your opponent. Fortunately though, there are plenty of game modes to choose from, so you can keep things as casual or as competitive as you'd like. There's a fun 2v2 soccer mode called Party Record. There's an everyone for themselves mode called Brawl. You have your classic 1v1 and 2v2 modes where you play against others based on your skill level, but without anything on the line. And then of course, for the competitive spirits out there, a 1v1 and 2v2 rank mode are indeed in the game. You start in bronze and you work your way all the way up to challenger. If you manage to make it to the top 100 on the leaderboard, you actually get a title that's displayed for a week to let the world know just how talented you are. I'm sure everyone though is asking probably the same question at this point. How's the net play? Well, guess what? Literally all of the gameplay footage that you are seeing was recorded from my live matches in the 1v1 mode. I've been playing strangers left and right and this is one of the best online experiences I have ever had. Of course, playing the game's fun, but what would be even more fun is if you looked good while doing it. Flash Party doesn't miss a beat here and has a plethora of skins to choose from that let you play in style. A few of the ones I like are Cupid Squirrel Cub. Like, look, look at baby Cupid right here. This is adorable. You see the ears playing the piano, the glasses, all right. And also the Count Dracula for Thanatos. Definitely a different vibe, Halloween-ish. Hopefully you're not afraid of the dark. Keep the lights on, it's all good. But my favorite skin has to be the Altaverse College Girl for Kamiki Yuri. I might be a bit biased. This is my current main. Red's my favorite color, kind of getting Demon Slayer vibes here. You know what I mean? But if you see someone named Logic using this skin, it's it's probably me. 
So there you have it guys. Flash Party is a game that I've been thoroughly enjoying and I highly recommend you give it a try. It's free to play and will officially release on Steam January 10th. Show your support by using the link in the description to download it or by adding it to your Steam wishlist. Enjoy the rest of the match. See ya. Kind of free. No doubt. Another three stocks? We, do we not want another three stocks? Can the bus take another three stocks? No, no, no. Yeah. Can the bus yeah, take another them. three stocks right now? I don't know. Try to whoever. A lot of shit for somebody who needed a top 10 player to take out just three stocks from Jake. Hey, he's going to take another three stocks from whoever you guys decide to send I think we in. should just send another Steve. How send many in top 10 players are on your roster? Just one? As many as Peculiar. we need. Peculiar. We only need one. Because our top 10 player, that's Cola right there. We have royalty. We have the king of New York, the Buzz. And we also have Tweak. We have Jackal. We have Syrup. Leon. Ram. We got Jen. We got Quandale Dingle Lingleton himself. We have MPG, third place at Apex. We got top two. Mickey uh, top Mouse three, Major. Two of the top three out of Mickey Mouse Major, allegedly. Guys. I think Tri State's gonna take it. Yo, if there's any mods in the chat, start a prediction or something, man. I don't know how to do all that. Gotta let people put their, their their channel points where their mouths are, cause uh, if I was a smart better, I would be putting a lot of points on Florja oh, right now. Cause I, it I seems that we have a, a little known player by the name of Jazo stepping up to the plate right now. Ah, uh, number one cheater. I played Jazo a little bit this morning. Kid cheats. Uh, there's nothing else to say. Ken is a bullshit dishonest character and if he wins right here against the buzz even if he just takes the one stock after losing a couple it's purely because his character is breaking every rule of the game how many up tilts can you do in one second i think it's five it might be exactly more. what i was hearing back at miami it's, it's just lots of johns you know what man you guys didn't have jazzo last time we were sleeping on the kid i wasn't we familiar with this game so jazzo i apologize to you for that but you know i've since seen it and this kid's a monster so Definitely a strong pick from you guys. Very strong pick, and he's a little bit difficult to counter pick because here's the thing, too. After the buzz goes down, I think like one of the only players on the side of Tri-State that, that strongly beats Ken as a character and Jazo as a player is probably Tweak. Yeah. So you'd have to send out both of your top players, the buzz and Tweak, early on just to guarantee that Jazo goes down, and then we can just counter pick Tweak with Cola, and it's easy peasy. That's light work. That's light work. That's all I know. Either way, we're going to have a quick button check before Jazo and the bus get to it. Also, you want to talk about betting your channel points. I know a guy named Zombo who bet his channel points, 400 of them, in fact, on Tri-State in this crew battle. So if anyone is going to bring the heat when he comes on the sticks, it's going to be Zombo. This dude has got a lot riding on this. It's not just the $1,000 <laughs> in prize money. It's also uh, his channel points. I do feel like it would be the most Zombo thing ever, though, to bet 400 channel points and then get three stocked. I, <laughs> All I'm saying is if we wait out Anathema, Zamba's going to put in hell of work. I was about to, to call your memory back to uh, Miami, look, look. The, the finals of no Zamba versus Anathema. No idea what you're and talking about. Just what happened to go on there? But uh, I Not think, sure. as Zamba says himself, Rob loses a lot of matchups. He's quite easy to counterpick. Yeah, you know, I partially agree with Zamba. I think Rob does have a couple rough ones in there, especially some of the top tiers, right? He could get juggled, but the character's complete bullshit. Uh, he can win anything, so I just <laughs> so need Zamba to tap it. into that. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm not Zamba. I'm not going to be a Rob apologist up here, but we need that bullshit because we're playing for a thousand bucks. It's a lot on the line. All right, it looks like these guys are just about ready to go, though. Yeah, it looks like they select. also got the uh, the timer change. So good on them. They got the nice, timer change nice, to nice. that 99-minute countdown. If, if anybody can time out on 99 minutes, I believe in the buzz, though. <sighs> yeah, I think that is <laughs> pretty much the, the man for the job if we wanted to have that done on stream. Fortunately for you guys at home, I don't think he'll be going for that. He also has only one stock to play with. Let's see what kind of damage he can do to Jazzo. Let's go, Tri-State. We got this man. Already off to a great start. I think we got off to a terrible start in Miami, so already looking much more promising. Two stocks down. Let's hear you count it down in the crowd. Oh, they can't hear us right now. Sorry. They counted it down anyway. Oh, well, you know, great timing. They knew. They know the vibes. It's already right. off the bat. The buzz is struggling to get damage. Jaws are so good with those parries. Every Pikmin toss, it comes with a risk. If the buzz is too close up in his face, parry, dead. Sorry, bro, who's struggling to get damage? Because right now, I don't think Jazzo has dealt any. The buzz is just running away. 
See, uh, look, who, look at that, who's man? man? One who's hit, man? One hit and he did 500,000 times as much damage as now the Buzz did in like traps. 12. This character lies and cheats, man. The Buzz Either ran way. away for like a full minute, kept throwing Pikmin. The Buzz, he got caught once, Jazzo got in once. That's all he needs, 74%. Next time he gets in, he'll probably kill him. Yeah, I know, that's an illegal move. Get what did the I fuck say? out of here. Get what did the I fuck say? out what of here. What did I say? What did I say? Get out of here, dude. What was that lead? Where did the lead go? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm waiting for an official to take Jazzo out of the game. For what? Being better? That's at least a red card where I come from, bro. That was cheating. I think not. All right. Well, Tri-State. Look, know at, we're look at him stanced up. He's posing up on that stage sorry, there. Sorry. What did you say, Dev? Oh. <laughs> All right. Never mind. Well, I wasn't ready. So, either way, also just want to throw a huge shout out to the House of 3000. Mainstream production for the cement. These guys are the absolute goats. They've been at pretty much every major. You know, they even came right back from Scuff World Tour a couple weeks ago. Um, just really happy to see them develop, especially because they put so much into the New York City scene. And, you know, who else would we have here other than House, Gen Game, Kelvin from Collision? You know, we, we got that A team on production as well as on the sticks. It's literally not even a question. If, you, if you're watching from home and you're thinking to yourself, damn, this stream looks really good. It's probably House of 3000. It, That's true. There's like a 95% chance. You watched SmashCon, you watched half the VG Boot Camp events, like Glitch, that have happened in the, the last couple years or so. It was House. It's always House. No, they're absolutely goaded. Um, but it, it looks like Syrup ooh, coming in. Uh, yeah, see, I like this pick against Shoto's. Ness, all those multi hits, great edge guarding, great combo game, especially on some heavier characters. You want to talk about combo game? Okay, regular combos, not cancels, not cheating. <laughs> Right? What game is this? Last I checked, it was Smash Brothers, not Street Fighter. The fuck am I watching you do your uh, normal cancels into specials? You know, he could even cancel a Smash attack into special. That's bullshit. He could car a cancel and Smash? All I'm hearing is outplayed. I don't I'm know. That's not it. what I'm seeing, though. You might be hearing it, but that's not what I'm seeing on the screen. So we're going to have Syrup come in. Of course, one of the best Nesses in the business, I believe, according to the results that are uh, accumulated by, sorry, stats guy who does that. Barnard. I forget. Barnard, yes, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, if it's Barnard's, I'm extra sorry because I definitely know him. <laughs> but um, the usage statistics or winning numbers <laughs> that uh, Barnard's loop puts out, Syrup I think was second behind only Send and it was a narrow margin. So he's really coming up in the world here. Uh, very young player as well, 15 if I'm not mistaken. The, one of the prides of North Jersey. So I'm looking forward to him doing some damage here against Jazzo. Fun fact though, Jazzo did win the mini invitational, the Epic Gabriel X last X Let's Make Big Moves uh, random pre-local that we hosted here. So he's definitely on a little bit of a hot streak. Yeah, that Let's Make Moves before midnight that took place the <laughs> Thursday night beforehand. Jazzo ended up taking that pretty comfortably too from winner side. Uh, beat like Goblin, Lima, a couple other people too in it. Did Oh, so pretty weak competition then. Better than zero. Were there any tri-state mans in that? No, uh, right? Yeah, they got like last place. Who? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Come looking for the receipts, nowhere to be found. All right. Should be off the races any minute. Looks like we're having. Some... I think we have two pro controller players. Oh no! Oh yeah. By the way, disconnect your pro controllers after you're done playing. Don't that's why it's be taking the guy so long. it up for your whole region. Do you? I don't know. If you're on tri-state, feel free. Like... <laughs> I actually paid Jazzo to leave his pro controller in and accidentally hit home in the middle of an important combo for one of his teammates. Jazzo can't be bought. That man's got honor. No, we're cutting him like a $100 piece of the Tri-State winnings. He was down. Tri-State winnings. Very morally corrupt, you know, in line with his main. Tri-State winnings, right, right. <laughs> you know, uh, Ken's wife actually left him because he cheats so much. That's just not true. Ken is a good man. I, I know, know somebody who would agree with I don't him. know. The facts say otherwise. Well, the, the has says other otherwise. <laughs> Facts, Matt. No, we're not listening to that guy. He's here selling you lies. You think Belmonts and Shotos are good men? All right, here we they, go. Like, especially the Belmonts, they're like, their occupation is literally fighting evil things like demons. I, th I think you have to be a good man to do that. I know a couple Twilight fans who would disagree with your stance on the situation. Let them talk to me. We'll see. All right, here we go. It is Syrup versus Jazzo, Ness versus Ken. I definitely would favor Ness in this matchup, but also I'm not sure what Syrup's level of familiarity is with that. We don't have these cheating characters here in Tri-State. I would favor Jazzo in any matchup. That doesn't matter. Except yeah. for maybe like Diddy. Yeah, call Leo <laughs> up right now. Send him in. Leo actually, you know, he's been living in my house for a couple months. That's not true. <laughs> it's actually completely true. And there's no way you can prove me wrong. 
if, you, right. uh, if you guys get Leo, we get Gluto on Florja. You know what? I'm actually kind of <laughs> down with that. But we're not going to need him. The boys from back home are more than enough to get this done. Smart, okay, knows exactly when to jump out All of the block. All he can do is run away. Bro, you're run fighting the Ken. What other option is there? You get anywhere near him, he just fucking kills you. Oh, he needs up it. To, up to, tilt, 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 tilt. Oh, your shield's low? Ah, ha, ha, destroy that. Oh, oh, speaking of, yeah, let's go. Syrup, Bundy's baby. Name one moment when Ness is not pushing a button. Uh, I mean, he paid for these buttons. He should be pressing them. Get your money's worth. Oh, there we go. Another opening. Let's see how much more extra credit you could get. Syrup. Oh, ah, that could have been so juicy. All right, Gels are just resetting neutral ever so slightly. Has to has to figure out the tempo of Syrup running away. But once he gets in, there it is. Down tilt. Sure, you gets the stock and. Only 21.5% extra credit. All we need is Jazzo to take two more, and we got the lead. All right, I'm just gonna keep that shield pressure up there. Oh, Syrup with the custom combos. One of the best oh. in the fucking business, baby. Yes, side magnet. We're gonna read that escape to ledge all Saying day. Saying Ness is not a cheeser? He smelled the fear. Now all this, I saw was cheese there. If you were in Smash 64, there's no way you could be complained about, even Luigi. I'll give you that one. You're not allowed to complain about any of the original 12, okay? Ken, this is some fucking sorcery. Oh, oh, baby! Speaking of, let me see the magic attacks. Maybe PK Thunder, PK Fire, PK Up Air. I don't give a fuck. Oh, and that's it. Two whole stocks. Tri-State back in the lead. And now this house is getting lit. That's what we'd like to see. It's okay. It's okay. It'll just feel even better when Florida sends in their next player and it, it just lo starts to look real ugly. I mean, real bad. I don't know, man. Who's in next? Who's your nest counter? You guys have like a Captain Falcon. You have Roy who can get Gimps. I, I don't think you really have many options here. I don't think we need a nest counter. I think the next person we send in, we should already be planning for whoever's coming after Syrup. <laughs> you might have a nest counter, but you definitely don't have a Syrup counter. Dude is nice with it. And I, I mean, Need I say more? The down B into down air, the up air to catch the focus, finish off that two stock. Jago, oh. he looked completely out of his element. If Sierra played in that pre local invitational, I think he would have farmed. We don't have annoying characters like Ness in the Southeast. We don't really, we don't really fuck with that kind of thing. You just fielded a Ken and a Steve before that. Ken is cool. And who's going to come in now? Samus? Woo! Yeah, annoying characters are definitely short supply I think, over there. I think at this point, we send. Brian Omega. Oh, dude, your older brother. Let's go. <laughs> All weekend, Max has been comparing me to Omega. He just looks like older last, right? They're like the same variety I'm of I'm older dude. than him. Wait, you are? <laughs> I'm Get older the than fuck him. out of here, seriously. You're, you're not older than exactly Devin. You're, there's no way last is older than anyone. I need to find a new hobby. That's all I know. Jesus Christ, he's 18? I think he's 20, 19. 19. I think he's 19 turning 20. I know I'm like Holy five or six shit. months older. Oh, my God. You guys are born in like 2000. 15. That's crazy. 2015 that. was 18 years ago. Can you guys believe that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> trust me. Just trust me. All right. You got it. You got it. I mean, you guys have f fielded a literal kindergartner on your side right now. That's true. Yeah. Syrup is a uh, dude. Syrup and Zombo were playing in a uh, local grand finals like a year ago. Their combined ages were less than mine. And that's when I almost just, you know, started filling out law school applications. Regardless, though, of Max's potential career options in the future, <laughs> we got two people with a bright future ahead of them. We got both Omega and Syrup. At least a bright future in Smash, for sure, as alongside their other, uh, other interests. Nah, nerds. Stick to gaming. <laughs> Fuck school. Get out of there as soon as you can. I do not condone this message. <laughs> didn't, didn't you drop out? Maybe. <laughs> Guy drops out at school to go to Team Liquid and... You know, no, nah, guys, for real though, for real, just a real moment of clarity before we get into this match. Don't drop out of school for esports. It is not sustainable. <laughs> you do not have the work ethic of Ryan Last Redacted. I don't want to talk to you. It's I'm literally sure on my Smash GG. I'm Ryan sure. Last <laughs> Gamer. Can you, can you say my last name? Do you know how to yeah, pronounce yeah. it? Can you say mine? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. It's well, like, I can say yours. Can I say it? Try it. Kirchmar? No. Close though. How do you? Kretschmar. Kretschmar. Yours okay. is Kirchbaum, right? Kritchbaum. Kr oh, Kritchbaum. The Kritch R bomb. comes before the I. So the reason I fucked that up is because everyone says my name as Kirchmar, 
fucking up the order of uh, the sounds. And I thought yours was the opposite, but it's the same as mine. The same Ryan order. Fritch bomb. Yeah, okay. I would have said that right if it was written in front of me. Now that we I figured out the, uh, the entomology of both mine and Max's last no, names. Etymology. Entomology is bugs. That's true. I'm glad you caught that. Hey, man. 2015 was 18 years ago. That's... Okay, yes, indeed. And that's when both Syrup and Omega were born. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Either way, we're off to the races here. Sending in Joker on Ness. I think that's kind of a misplay by Florida and Georgia. I think this match was very annoying for this character. Back air offstage can be a nightmare, but so can this small hurt box of Ness. Syrup showing you just why. Off to a killer start so far. Just enough to give Omega a chance at Arsene, though. He was he was just playing the long game. He wanted Arsene. He wanted to get a little bit of rage on the board just so he can do even more work once this first stock starts to get going. Trust me, Omega Omega just needs a little bit of time to warm up. I think he played at like 11 a.m. His pool was so long ago, he needs to get that warm up in again. Yeah, yeah, his hands are so cold. Uh, his eyes are in the sun, you know. Uh, his controller's broken. I don't know, man, you're the one who, who booked this venue. It sounds like your fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. All the sunlight getting in here. The vampire gamers can't deal with it. Somebody called the oh, Belmonts. That, right, well, wait, for uh, real this time, farm. that kill? That one made sense, but Ness up tilt killed at like 110. All right, if uh, 2015 was 18 years ago, that makes Tri-State up 14 stocks right now. Amazing start to this crew battle. Max math is going to drive me insane. At least I know how many billion is. Billion's a lot. Very well aware of <laughs> a billion that. Billion is a lot. And that might be how many stocks Syrup is about to get. Good fucking Christ. This man did drift on stage into PK Flash and it worked. Not only did it hit, it only also it worked combo. that well. Look at the situation he's in now. He just gave Omega Arsene. He gets caught by Dare Up Air. Oh, and he's alive. He right. lives. It's Syrup. just time for more suffering. Syrup, can I get one more, my friend? I know I can. No. I know you're capable of this. Absolutely not. Down gun on the ledge. He's baited. He gets up. Omega just wants him to go to center stage so he can find something Woo! even cooler. <laughs> Too obvious. Sir, sir, I'm gaming. Look at that tomahawk right there. See that? That's not a normal tomahawk. That's an Omega tomahawk. Oh, what? Was that an Omega? That's, that's get an Omega up neutral get up into a down smash. Hell True. Yeah. He Yo, patented that. I love he his also, signature move. I wish he did it one he, more time. He patented uh, the Omega drag down, uh, as you all know. Oh, right, right. I thought that was the Le Fable. No, that's the Omega drag down the right Omega there. Omega drag down, right. All we got right. two Omega drag downs. Well, just We're about like, to get three more. Just like in the Greek alphabet, looks like Omega is in last right now. He's going to need to dig is deep. Is Omega actually the yeah, last he, letter in? It is. Alpha 2 Omega, you know? And also, it's super funny that you guys are brothers, and his tag is the last letter, and yours is last. Very cool. Keeping you're, it up. You're feeding this conspiracy. <laughs> guys, no doubts whatsoever. These guys are related. Omega and last. You know, they're actually conspiring right now, doing like a twin telepathy thing. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm giving him advice for whoever yeah. Tri-State said. Yeah, your coaching mentions. sucks, bro. You need to step it up. <laughs> All right, Florida and My Georgia bad. on the back foot. Down a million and a half stocks, but let's see who Tri-State is going to send in. Do we give them a little mercy? You know, give them a chance to make a comeback. I know Tri-State knows content. Maybe they're going to go that route. Maybe they're just going to go full try-hard. I don't know. They, they seem to be deliberating pretty hard. I think they're a little bit scared of Omega's Joker. I don't think they know what to do here. Yeah, they're like, oh, man, our 14-year-old Nest player, like, oh, only, it seems only took two of his stocks. I don't seems know. Seems like we, we have our answer, in. though. That's Jen stepping up to the plate. Palutena against Joker, really? That's your See, best. That's your best pick. No, that's a real fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is like no 2019. Steve, old. No Kazuya to be found, right? This is one of the few DLC characters we give the pass to because he's so fucking cool. I don't know, but like back when, back like 2019, when Leo was winning everything with Joker, people definitely hated oh, this character. For sure, we just didn't know how good we had it. You know, grass is always greener, etc. Then we saw the real demons of this game. True. I think Joker has been for, uh, forgiven for his past. Let's see though, Jen, I want to point out, player who hasn't been all that active in most of 2022, but toward the end of the year started making a pretty fierce comeback, had a great showing against Aqua I was, at Let's Make Moves Miami. I will give it up to Jen for that. I, I think Let's Make Moves Miami was his first like major tournament in a long time. He ran it all the way to what, ninth? Ninth like, place. I, I got to give it up for that. Jen didn't lose any of his mojo in his time off. Oh no, he's he's been pretty much the same player, if not gradually improving in the time off, just because you have a lot of time to internalize all that new shit you were working on before, right? So I think Jen is going to put on a great show for us. One stock off Omega shouldn't be a problem for him. If Mentioning anything, uh, new shit, though. 
Omega's Joker definitely is some new shit. I don't think he's seen drag downs like he's got. Oh, I don't know. Let me tell you about a player named Dre Charles, who happens to be my roommate. Very, very optimized Joker. Dre and Jen came up together in the New York scene, both, you know, rising in that same generation. Really talented players. They have a million games against each other. So I think Jen's going to feel right at home. He's got plenty of experience, again, against Dre and just selection of other strong Joker players over the years. Should be an easy clap. We'll find out because it seems like they're getting ready to get into this game unless it's a button check. We'll, we'll know in a second. <laughs> also, just again, uh, apologies for looking like a sweaty, tired bitch, man. That's You're exactly the head TO, what I bro. am right now. So, uh, just had to plug myself on commentary, bro. You know I'm an up and comer. Just had to, had to get my breakout moment. Man, TO is always giving themselves the best commentary blocks. That's kind of fucked up, not going to lie. But no button check this time around. We're just getting right into it. And already, look, look at the standard Palu shit. Just runs away, auto-reticles, and waits until after the auto-reticle hits to go in. Too scared to approach like a real man. I don't know. I think once Jen finds his comfort zone, figures out Omega's patterns, he's going to go straight to rush down. Yeah, the, uh, the pattern is grabbing the wrong way. I agree. Hey, so far, Omega's gotten a little bit lucky, gets some undeserved openings. But fortunately, they're not going up the distance, right? Nice combo, dude. Wow, you missed Arsene down there into up smash. I don't know. It seems like it's still going right now. He's able to, to kind of teleport his way on stage because he can't do it the real way. Can't get past Omega's ledge trapping normally. Oh, the pivot grab. All right, Jen plugged in. He's ready. Down tilt. Oh, wow. Losing Arsene at uh, not the worst moment, I guess. And now Jen has worked Omega to pretty much a last hit scenario up air anywhere near the top of the screen. That's going to do it. Let's see. Can he finish it? No, not quite. It seems like it's going to be another stock taken for Omega here. I don't, I don't know if I agree last. Jen seems like he's floundering a little bit to me. That seems like a lack of confidence. Oh, easy two frame? No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe right, he misses bro. the Maybe easy two frame. True. Oh, the parry. Wow. It's down tilt too. Ducking under the rest of the nair. And this might be where it all ends for Omega. No! Wow. Uh, sick usage of his small hurtbox, man. Very skillful. Palu has the same thing. What do you... <laughs> These are two birds of a feather right here. Oh, oh misses the fair one conversion. Bro he must be nervous. Oh, the teleport cancels. We are the fuck out of here. He's just running away. Yes, sir. Oh, dash attack. And he slightly DI'd correctly. Not the best, not the worst. And there oh. it is. Yes, whoa, the tangent explosive flame. Somebody call Tumultus. Is he in the room? Can I get Tums to the front? I know a guy who does that on purpose. Isn't he Florida? Tumultus, yeah. Jen went to Florida to study the tangent explosive flame. So that means he's a, uh, counts for us, right? No, I think Tums is just like a sleeper agent working for Tri-State. Years in the making. I'll need to investigate this later. I need to find out more information. All right, next player coming in for Florida and Georgia. I think you guys are kind of tapped for answers. Palutena, I mean, that's a matchup that you have to know to get by in this game. Omega, he failed that knowledge test. And look at them. They're thinking so hard right now. Try right, to stay up a full player. Just thinking hard about how funny it's going to be when whoever they send in next sweeps two people and more. You know, I think this would be a great time to put in Fatality. You need a little momentum back. You need a player who can just kind of mow people down, make it quick. But they're going to spend as much time as possible figuring this out. You know, they, they know the only way they can win is stalling until Tri-State's momentum is just gone, until they're out of energy. So playing the dirty tactics, although I do respect doing anything necessary to win. Oh, we have the next person coming in who is going to be a shock to the system for Jen. Jen's a, a, an old school player. I don't think he knows about the warrior poet, the most employed man in Georgia. Oh, wow. The, the most down bad man in Georgia as well. It's going to be <laughs> I Bugen. can't defend him from that one. I can't imagine what the tweets are going to look like after he gets knocked out here, striking out with the hose and in the crew battle. Pour one out for Mugen, man. Going to have to go in for work after this, too. <laughs> I do have to give Mugen a lot of credit for that killer opening speech, though. I mean, he set the standard, and Tri-State has yet to fire back with words of a similar caliber. I feel like we should get a bonus three stocks for, for winning the opening battle there. I'm just saying, I do miss the OG era of New York Smash when we had guys like Wes, you know, the whole DA crew, ready to talk the most shit at the drop of a dime. MPG, I mean, Seems like you're a little bit weak trying. in that department I appreciate now trying. these days. It was, it was very cute, but we do need that fire. But, you know, like I said before, we don't need to talk that much shit. The gameplay is going to speak for itself. Three stocks up already, and Mugen, I don't know if he's the man for the job, man. 
I mean, Jen has a Roy of his own. He's played plenty of Roy's out here in New York City, out here in Tri-State. That, that's the thing, though. It, especially in a region like Georgia, everybody's got a Roy. It's it's the Georgia Roy's for, for a reason. And you guys still don't know the matchup. That's fucking crazy. Well, we don't, you don't, you don't really need to, right? Like, everybody is so good against Roy. To be a Roy of the caliber of Mugen, you have to be able to beat people who are good at the matchup, and nobody does it quite like him. Oh, dude, See, he's I was gonna say, you don't have to ST Mugen, you have three stocks. We're starting on even footing. Of course, not in the grand scheme of things, though. It is 24 to 21 in favor of Tri-State. This roster shift really working out, and so far, I think the only new player in the mix compared to Miami was the Buzz, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, was Jen in, in the crew battle? Yes, he was. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not gonna lie, kind of got cooked. I think he lost to Jake, one stop. Uh, I, I think, think he was the, the opener. I believe he, that yeah. was the starter, uh, yeah. Last time. Either way, now we're saving Jen. Hopefully a matchup that he's gonna do just fine in though. I, again, experience-wise, I think he's very comfortable with Roy, as Mugen should be with Pauly. A couple sour spots on the ledge from Mugen. He's not really gonna let that get to him though. He, he's gotta be used to it at this point, making use of those sour spots and a great shield grab. But Jen on the ledge once more. Oh, oh he American almost had the Air call Dodge. out. Yeah, that's the fear that Roy puts in your heart, man. One jab in the corner and your opponent starts doing whatever you want him to. Certainly is all American when it comes to that. It's letting freedom ring right now. <laughs> but that's my boy, that's my, my side. I can't talk shit. Jen, so far, Ooh, keeping up it. Up air out of shield, nobody does that. Nobody was expecting that. With Roy? I don't know, I think that's pretty solid. Pretty standard fair, but you know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just built differently. Seeing with my third eye. Setting back to neutral. Take oh. him with the Nair, yes. He's fine, he's fine, yeah. he's got that DI. Yeah, and Roy with plenty of air drift too. Oh, Jen looking for the killing blow, doesn't find it. Oh, it doesn't find it there either, and the weak up airs, oh no. Not scared enough to take that. A little bit of a scramble situation going here. We know how good Roy does in these scrambles. Just hitting so much damage just on the shield, finds the grab. And now Jen's got to get past ledge trap once again. These jabs are so scary, but he does get it. He gets a little bit of a cheeky air dodge on stage. And one more time, he gets that short hop up air on the first stock. Oh, but he drops it right after. The revenge kill, let's go. Okay. Yeah, Jen, Jen can only win when he's invincible, as we see. <laughs> hey, fortunately, Palutena has like two moves that do that, kind of, with her shield, you know. We'll count that. He's invincible enough to win this. I know he can win this head-to-head. -head. Down by 60 right now, though. Come on, Jen, let him know, baby. I'm trying to beat the washed allegations right now. Oh, Back throw off whoa. stage. This might Wait. be a little bit bad. Oh, I like that, though, because he's like, all right, Maybe I could get a two-hit combo off down throw here, but if I put you at the ledge, it could be theoretically infinite pressure. No, Mugen gonna crack through, though. That aggressive neutral air. However, Jen still has something to say about it. Oh, I don't like how long Mugen's spending in disadvantage here. This has me a little bit worried, but Ooh. I know the GOAT can get out of this all right. The Tomahawks, the tech chases. Where are you going? Back to center? No, sir. And he's back on the platform. Jen resetting these landings in a way that's been pretty difficult for Mugen to keep up with. But that's Roy, right? He makes one mistake and he's about to, he, he might have been about to die for it. And that's, that's why we got so many Roys in Georgia. Yeah, he's a very volatile character, but it often works out for him. Either way, climbing again to these very even high percents. Jen with the back throw off stage yet again. Oh, and the explosive flame connects. Aww. This time all the way through, gonna kill Mugen off the top. One more, and Tri-State's in a huge advantage. Looking to go up at least four stocks, potentially five. Jen doesn't go down here. Huge struggle to kick it off. Oh, okay, not gonna complete the five stock lead we were looking for, but Jen still in a very good position. 50 damage for extra credit on his opponent. Can he wipe the floor with this one last stock? Looks like he can. One stock is a lot. Looks like he can. Oh, uh, yes! No reason to even care about coming back to the stage. Your objective was just to kill Roy right there, and you're gonna achieve that. Jen taking another three stocks right here. Man, what is that four for him so far? Potentially a fifth, potentially a sixth on the way. I'll give it up, I'll give it up there. You better give it up, man. Your boy Mugen was giving it up real easy right there, I know. But Jen, an absolute beast of a player. He's too employed for this. Player, man. He's too employed for this, yeah, I don't know. He kind of threw in the towel. He's like, oh, I got to clock back in. He'll be with Tilde. You know, they're working the same shift right now. Either way, guys, tries the eight versus Florida and Georgia.
It is underway right now. Tries to up four stocks. What is it? Uh, it is 19, 18 to 19 to 16, or no, it's 18, 18 to, to 22, 22, I believe. Yeah. yeah, I'm skipping a player ahead, but you know what? It just feels well. Like Georgia it's going might be about so to fast. skip a player ahead here. Oh, they're throwing us a freebie. No, Not no, that no, they no. haven't been doing that all night. Because it seems like up next we got Cola stepping in, and we we saw we saw Jen struggling a little bit with uh with Mugen's Roy. And Mugen's Roy is phenomenal. Right, right, right. I have a good. But friend. we got we got the number one Roy coming up. I've got a good friend by the name of Angel Cortez, and when he sits down to play you, most of the time he'll ask you one question. Do you want the hands or the hands junior, right? Jen could take the hands junior, but can he take on Papa Bear Cola? He is obviously the Roy that you think of, right? Immediately off rip with this character, but I don't know. Jen, he's a sleeper pick. He's a fucking beast. You saw it right there. Handle the movement with ease. A sleeper pick with one stock left. That sounds like one tech chase to me. Oh, yeah, he's going to kill Cola with one tech chase and then move on to the next Tri-State guy. Got it, got it. Also, what happened to Cola in the last group battle? Didn't he get farmed by Tweak? He was, still he was tired. Reserves? He was tired, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Didn't get much sleep the night before. He used all of his energy up in bracket. Wow, that's crazy. What crew was drawing again last time? Let's get into this game. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, some quick SDs. We're going to get the countdown from the crowd. And now Cola and Jen, two really fire players to watch, by Cola the way. Cola definitely making a statement, too, before this even gets started as the countdown hits. I won't lose. He says it loud and proud, letting everybody know. And look at this damage he said off the bat. He did? He did that Roy taunt. Oh, 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 that's a Roy taunt. I thought he, like, mouthed that and he read his lips. I was like, damn. <laughs> One, I'm no, that's, that's down taunt with Roy. And two, that's kind of fire of Cola. A little anime protagonist energy, which, you know, is kind of crazy. He's got that G fuel in him. You see that? Does he? This is tag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, Cola is pure content. I fucking love this dude. But I love New York. I love Tri State. Dude, it's a all Jen can, can do more. to keep Cola out. He's He is on the back foot, and he's like three steps behind already. Oh. We had Jen pushing Cola to the corner. Could have made something happen off of that. Now the rolls are reversed. Wow, perfect. Right in between. Swings to that dancing blade. Or sorry, double edge dance before the Roy Discord asked for my head on a stick. They're the same thing. Yeah, hold that shit. Nerd. Dancing blade, double edge dance, they both mean the same thing. It's, They're it's the same thing. No one's saying Monado arts. Sorry. Too many frames. Ooh, tries for the eruption there. <laughs> Did you do that? On yes. Yeah, you're a gamer. <laughs> do you know the real name? No. <laughs> oh, it's player blade. I'm more of a weep than you. I'm, I'm True, ashamed. you got me. All right, I got to go, guys. Max knows more about Fire Emblem than I do. <laughs> kind of cringe. I don't know if I can show my face in public anymore. Oh, oh no! no! And yes, stay alive, Jen. Yes, yes, and it goes through. The stock has been removed. It's going to count. Jen no! puts Tri-State up four stocks yet again, claiming a fifth one. What a run this man is on. Y'all were sleeping? Jen was sleeping on himself. He even said, yo, I don't know, man. I'm kind of washed. I don't know if I should play. I don't know. I'm glad you did, buddy. Five stocks straight. Let's go. Who said Palu isn't as good anymore? Who said there's power creep in this game, man? Jen looking crisp. He's gone now, though. We, we dealt with the uh, the demon, the monster under the bed that is Jen, because he's taking a little bit of a nap previously. But yeah. Yeah. He showed himself. We, we get it. That's fine. He got a little bit of a lead. Cole's got two stocks left, though, and two is plenty to deal with the rest of who Tri-State has to offer. If Jen's the monster under the bed, you don't even want to know who's hiding in the kitchen cupboard. That is Tweak. That is Leon. That is Zombo. We have so many top-level killers left. And guess what? Cola being down a stock, your number one ranked player? What's he going to do? Yeah, you're sleeping, yeah. Three Look. stock the next player. Oh, you're about so. to get a real nice We do actually have what we were looking State. forward to, though. That's, I think that's, is that Quit sitting down? Fucking Pog, dude. They did it. Yo, you guys know content. Shout out to Tri-State making the rematch from last year's grand finals happen. That's a Chad play. We're going to have Cola versus Quid, PT versus Roy. Of course, unlike last year's grand finals, Quid isn't going to have, or Quid has a stock lead this time, right? And guess what? He Seems still like won on even footing. Seems like he needs a handicap to even put up a fight against Cola. Oh, dude, we got uh, your brother and my son in this crew battle. <laughs> he does. He actually does look like young Max. It's the same yeah. haircut and everything. Yeah, yeah, if I shaved and lost like 75 pounds, I'd be quit. Quit games. He does. He does game. He does what game. What happened, Uncle Ben? <laughs> quit games. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but this was... Uh, God, was that really a year ago that Squid Games was a thing? Oh, yeah, right. That was a full uh, year ago? That fell off super hard. 
Heard the show's great, though. I didn't see it. Not me neither. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that said, guys, I mean, I'm hoping that anyone who watched or attended Let's Make Big Moves 2022 has a little bit of nostalgia seeing these two guys on the stage. They had an intense two-set grand, uh, grand finals last time. Now they're fighting for the prize of their regions and over this $1,000 prize pool. So we're going to see if Cole is able to turn on the Jets, you know, maybe get a little bit of that revenge. I'm sure he's fired up to take on a guy like Quid who's taken him down in the past. Uh, he's got... One thing that is for sure about Kohler is that he makes every stock count, and he, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, I was definitely counting on him dropping that stock against Jen, and you know what? He really came through, so shots to Kohler. That one stock is gone. Seems like we're ready to get into this one more time. Let's see how the run back from Let's Make Big Moves 2022 goes. Yep, obviously a little different. Again, not a cruise setting. Uh, only two stocks for Kohler. But if you're a Quid fan, if you're a Tri-State fan, you should be feeling pretty good right now. We're going to have an even 11.7 exchange between both of them. Now it's going to be Kohler breaking the ice, tacking on a little bit more, but not before Quid gets right in there, using Squirtle's low profile to sneak underneath Roy's swings, one of the things that sword characters hate dealing with. Now it's Kohler's turn, though. He puts Quid on the ledge and is able to read the jump get up. Gets a nice little up air out of there for a little bit more damage, and he's trying to set up that tech chase with the down tilt. Quid's able to, to connive his way around it, though. He's not getting caught by that quite yet. And, using that tiny body that Squirtle has to, to avoid these sweet spots, but he can only avoid for so long before he has to go onto the trademark Ivysaur, but he just gets jared. All right, solid stuff from Cola, but you know, we have a couple stocks to play with. We want to make it close, keep the people engaged. You know what it is. He tries to go for that water gun, but not going to be enough to get Cola this time, and oh, rolls through the grab. I was, I was counting on that one a little bit, but Cola, he's got plan Z through D. Cola, I don't know, man. He's at these high percents. Probably about to lose this stock. Shouldn't be feeling too comfortable. Quid gave him that charity stock. Don't you feel patronized when your opponent does that, right? Shouldn't no, we you just take unplug? Those. Yeah, uh, we take, we take those we every day of the week. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Falling up air. By the way, I think that's how Quid won the tournament. I think it was down air into up air. Not quite the same thing, but that's something that stings. You know, when Cola sees that, he's probably seeing red. Gets the down-angled double-edge dance. <laughs> Not dancing blade. <laughs> and gets a down smash, too. What an option from Cola to escape that. Quit right, coming to ledge, but he's got to deal with this. Okay, there's the up from Cola. He maintains control of the stage. Yeah, he knew Quid was going to try to apply some of that pressure from the air. Got the jab into forward air this time. Not enough to kill, though. And Quid, all he needs is one chance. Ivy Source punish game, ridiculous. What can you do off this tech chase? Oh, just not ready for the block string. Okay, Cola, I see you. I will give it to him. That was a pretty smart recovery by Quid, using the drop down and then getting onto stage without having to deal with Cola's ledge trapping. Very, very smart, but we saw how far it got him. It just got him to center stage so he could be up tilted. Well, goes for that immediate recovery. Quid smelling blood in the water. His uh, own. Oh, yeah, it might be. Uh, no cap. This is looking pretty bad for him. If we see Cola pull this one back and force Tri State to send in the next player, you guys might actually have a chance. Oh, oh! Oh, guess is wrong with the Razor Leaf, and Cola's going to take that all the way to the bank here. Gets the up air on Quid's jump, and now he's trying to flounder around without a jump in his pocket. Has to get back to stage, has to get back up on stage. Cola knows that Razor Leaf is coming, and now he's just got to deal with the big fat Zard that's out. All right, Cola putting in some work. Florida and Georgia using their ace very well here, but I don't know. Is it enough? Can Quid get this done anyway? Maybe not after that side B. Oh, no. Very aggressive return to center stage. Is this it? No! Oh, great up B by Cola. Just covers enough space. And the sweet spot F tilt is plenty. Another person taken down. And Goblin <laughs> celebrating in style for his Roy brother. We know that's exactly what we needed out of Cola. And this is only, I believe, a two-stock crew battle now. A couple more stocks taken by our ace. It's, uh, I think Tri-State might be a little bit scared. I would call this striking distance for Florida and Georgia. You guys still very much in the running to make this comeback, but I don't know. Cola might have exhausted all his clutch energy into that one match. Probably just going to falter when the next guy comes in. Talking about grand finals from last year's LMBM, Cola did that with two stocks. He did may that have made some improvements two. to his game. So imagine you know what's what about saying? to happen when he still has one left. We got Leon coming in, maybe a hero, maybe a Bowser. You know what both of those characters have in common? Their they ass. die at 60 to F smash. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure I know like 84 other characters that share that trait. Exactly. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Well, either way, Tri-State deciding on their counter pick. Oh, it is Oh, it is Leon. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. That's, I saw him sit down. That's yeah, why no, I was saying no, I'm, that. I'm zapped, guys. <laughs> Apologies. He's been running around like crazy, just making sure that this, as, as much as the, the rivalry between Florida and Tri-State is going on right now, Max has been doing the most to make sure that this event is running smoothly. And again, I got to give a thousand million shout outs to Kagth and Aerodusk spearheading the entire logistical side of this operation. You guys are goaded out of your minds. And of course, T.O. Joe, my partner in crime, helped put this all together on the back end. This has been a fucking awesome tournament. Regardless of who wins here, I think Tri-State and really the entire world won by having such a great show. Hope you guys are enjoying. Please make sure you tune in tomorrow. Make sure you watch the VODs when they're up. They're all going to be on VG Bootcamp. You already know uh, the quad stream, by the way. So we got so good. So many more VODs than, you know, most tournaments. Also, it's worth talking about while these guys get set up. First ever best of five major. True. You mentioned uh, it earlier. At least in, in North America. I do believe that, uh, yes. that Japan has done it previously, but it's a phenomenal idea. And I think we're already seeing results in significantly less upsets. Uh, than, than the usual American major. True. Uh, big shout-outs to Japan for, you know, being bold enough to try that. They used to have best of one pools out there, right? So uh, The thing, too, about Japan is that when they run the full best of five majors, they don't do it with side events. We did mm. Friday. We had doubles. We had a whole crew battle bracket, and now we're running single Saturday, Sunday. That's a little bit different from how Japan does it. They usually don't have Friday at their tournaments, but Max and, and Joe and Cax and the whole team are putting in the extra work just to make sure that everyone gets maximum enjoyment out of their trip to New York. I will say EMGTOs are built different, man. Again, thank you all for rocking with us, taking the chance on a best of five major. You know, this could have run like four hours overtime, but it didn't, and you guys had enough faith to show up anyway. Either way, I, I got plenty of faith in credit Leon. to oh. uh, Tri-State's TOs, who I'm not giving credit to as Tri-State's players, because <laughs> it looks like Cole is cooking y'all a little bit right now. If Leon doesn't drop this stock, we automatically win this crew battle. If he does, I have some questions. That was a little bit of a scary situation for both of them, but spaghetti all over the floor and nothing comes of it. The oh. side B connects, but not even Battlefield's enough to kill Cola's resolve. All the way to the top, too. I was shook for just a second. Oh, and oh, he holds no. it. Yeah, he's ready. He's still alive, though, and that's more than enough. Going to be able to get back up on ledge, but he does. Oh. Cola, no! What a flub there. Gets side B instead of up B. Caught in the fire breath from Bowser right there. We're going to see Leon walk away with that nice and easy, maintaining that three-stock lead. You guys are down a whole player. But if we have we have a man who's worth two stepping up to the plate. This is going to be literally textbook definition of a slobber knocker. Bowser and Falcon just beat the absolute Christ out of each other. It's either you get comboed forever, or you just die to that one hit into like a ledge trap or right, an it's edge the, guard. It's, it's Bowser going, just you wait till I get down there. Once exactly. I get out of this combo, once I get, oh, I'm, I'm dead. I never got out of this combo because Fatality doesn't ever let you out. That is true. He is one of the best at playing the advantage state, running the true combos, finding the gaps in them, you know, not overextending and then getting another hit. But I don't know if that's going to matter against the likes of D Leon 420 the man himself, best Bowser in the world. Uh, actually, top, top two Bowser in the world. Bowser. We need we'll him and Hero to square off ASAP. We won't have that debate here and now. We, we know the, uh, the, the people who come out of the woodwork to debate any Japanese player versus any American player. Facts. We'll solve that conundrum eventually. We might, we might have to maybe settle our differences between Florida and Tri-State team up to do it big against Japan at some point, but that's neither here nor there because right now we got a rivalry to settle ourselves. It's true. Tri-State versus Florida and Georgia, there's been a lot of shit talk exchange over the past year or so. Um, fun fact, we actually wanted to make this happen at Let's Make Big Moves 2022, but that's, you know, a couple unfortunate things happened. Unfortunately, it became impossible due to, like, the Omicron surge of COVID, you know. But we ended up running in at Let's Make Moves Miami, had a few last-minute cancellations on the Tri-State side. You guys barely squeaked it out with a lucky one-stock win. And then we said, you know what, run that shit back immediately. We are indeed running that shit back here at Let's Make Big Moves 2023. Leon locked into the Bowser. We are character locked in these crew battles, so he's not able to switch to hero for a better matchup or add anything else any, yep. at any point. And once Fatality wins this in a three stock, he'll still be stuck on Falcon. Oh, he's going to even it up right now? That's, that's no thing. I don't know about that, man. Leon not taking a stock, a single one, especially against a character as unruly and edgeguardable as Captain Falcon. 
edge guardable. Have you seen Griffin Fatality Miller's uppies? I that got, man drifts with the best of them. I got one word for you, bro. Fair. Bowser's forward air. Where do you where do you get away? It hits on top of him. It hits below him. You don't understand. You you don't get it. All right, let's see. He's uh, running that chase tag because all Leon's done so far is run. <laughs> He's scared. Eight he knows. Eight seconds of gameplay. <laughs> It's okay. The first eight seconds established the tempo. All right, Leon off the stage, looking like he's in kind of a bad spot here. Oh, Fatality missed the tech chase, though. That's exactly the break we needed. Sure, the break, right. He's he's going to do so much now. Oh, he got one straight hit there. One okay. upbeat. Woo. Okay, we're alive. Another upbeat, two upbeats last. Can you, can you I might count be getting a little that? bit scared at they two teach upbeats. You that in first grade? I, what comes next again? <laughs> I think a down throw. Right, right. That we're, comes we're after two. two. If you can figure out what comes after that when he does the next upbeat, uh, I'll give you a gold star. Fair. Fair comes after two. <laughs> oh, you know what? Up smash. Probably. <laughs> Secret ending. Oh, right. but here's what Fatality needed. Puts him in the corner, looking for the Nair Hall. The jump just barely saves Leon, and he's able to get behind him. He can only win with backstabs. He can't fight a man face to face. Well, it looks like he's winning regardless. Okay, well, for a brief time for a, a split second before Fatality finds his footing again. Look at this. Wow, look at those auto combos. One hit makes up for half of it. Not impressed, Fatality. Speaking of first grade, I think that's also where Fatality got his combos from. He does them with the best air, of them, though. Air, look at this. Up air, up air, yeah. They love that on the playground. I don't think Nick C can do it like that. <laughs> Nick C is doing calculus, man. This is finger painting. Listen, Occam's Razor, simplest solution is often the best. I wonder, is Nick C in the bracket? I, actually I don't think he's here this weekend. Yeah, I, <laughs> I haven't seen no, him. No, he's here. I, I did oh, see him. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think he competed, though. Okay, Had to give confirmation from Prime. in the spotlight. Right, because it would be embarrassing if he got outplaced by a, a, an octogenarian like Fatality. Right. I think they're the same name. <laughs> Either way. We got Aww. another fair. Let's go, baby. Leon keeping this one close. He could go down here. We're still in a two-stock lead. This is looking ultra comfortable for Tri-State. What do you guys have? Like, go. Okay. We have dares. Oh we have that stomp. <laughs> okay, I'll give it up for that. That was pretty cool, but it's Bowser's up B, man. How hard can it be to edge guard? Easy enough for Fatality, that's for sure. And he finds that in style, too. And he's still got a stock left to work with. We saw what Cola did with one stock. Man, finding that down air is literally like putting all the blocks in the square hole in the you, middle of the thing. You keep talking you know about saying? all this this first grade stuff, but it seems that Tri-State hasn't even mastered that yet. They're still stuck in kindergarten down with syrup. That was an easy down air, all right? Fatality basically had victory handed to him. Hey, you want to talk about easy baby mode characters? Guess who we got coming in? Mario. Hey, didn't you say the simple solution is often the best one? Shout out to my boy, Occam. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be one of my, my best friends, yeah. right? Occam. <laughs> Got to be one of my favorite philosophers. All right, so we're going to have Dark Wizzy coming in. Mario and Bowser teaming up to take out the Southeast. Does it go much further than that? Need I say more? Got to have the entire Avengers just to take down the, the South. We know who the real enemy is, bro. Northeast <laughs> versus Southeast, guys. So happy you're watching with us. So happy you're here in the building. You know, honestly, I think the crowd is lacking a little bit. Are they not getting loud because it's not close? Or because it's not exciting, because I, I think just, it's been pretty hype so far. They're stewing in their anxiety. They know who we as the Southeast still have in our pockets. We got Chunky Kong. We got Anathema. We got Goblin. DK, we got Teaser. We got so many, so many good players still waiting in the wings for after Fatality. Well, Fatality's going to take like five, six more stocks first, but before then, <laughs> yeah, or after take, then. Yeah, he's going to three from Zamba, another three from Tweak, right? Yeah. Exactly. Right. So, after that healthy dose of copium, crowd, I'm gonna need you guys to know that the players feed off of your energy, so we're gonna need you to keep the energy real high right here, okay? Just keep juicing these players up. We got Dark Wizzy stepping up to the plate against Fatality. Only one stock to take before we send this man packing back to Georgia. It's gonna take a lot to take that one stock, though. Uh, yeah, one up throw, one down air. Right. Mario is a, a baby airs. mode character, so if he gets like up air, up air fair, it didn't count. Okay. It will count, however, for the stocks and the money and the pride and the shit talk. A anything else, though? Not so much. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Only down two stocks. Still very recoverable for Florida right now. We're just trying to give the, uh, the, the people of the crowd a little bit of hope. 
thank you guys back home in the southeast. We'll need all the hope you can get. It's looking kind of grim. 15 to 13. Tri-State with so many killers in the reserves. Georgia or, or Florida and Georgia already down their ace. Actually, Anathema is also present, so that's gonna be a it's gonna be a sweaty one. Anathema, Goblin, Chunky. I think Riku's still waiting in the wings too. Yep, yep. Teaser. Yeah, they, there's some pretty good players. I'm not gonna lie. This is still very competitive. Florida and Georgia still in the running for sure. We're just, you know, gonna talk as much shit as possible. I'm not gonna lie though. I he can't mod the skills. Oh no. He's already off not. to a fantastic start. 110% on fatality, but he's just building rage. I would never he modify knows my Nintendo software. He can't mod the skills that Bark Wizzy doesn't have, hopefully beat Ned. That's somehow. Oh, yeah, somehow. Man, legendary moment. I'm sorry, I can't let it die. Sorry, we can't. Bershaw. We have to let it keep going. Oh, fatality. See that those recoveries too good. Buffers the get up option too to avoid ledge trump bear. Now Wizzy's in trouble. Oh, Fatality's at a higher enough percent now that the easy combos don't work anymore. And that's all Wizzy's got right now. He's only got the baby mode combos. You see him throwing out that up smash a lot. Might be meeting one of his own very soon. Yes, there it is. Take that dash attack away from me, Wizzy says. Maintaining the three stock lead yet again, just seizing that back for Tri State. We're looking pretty good, folks, but of course, can't start sleeping just yet. We did go through the roster. A lot of killers remain for Florida and Georgia. And Teaser, without a moment's hesitation, taking the stage, looking to zone Mario out with those big, long normals, crazy projectile game. I like the pick here. I think this is a smart counter pick. You know, on those terms, you guys are pretty good. Pretty good at the, the whole counter picking game. We, yeah. got, we got Teaser coming up to deal with Wizzy and probably whoever else Tri-State has in the pocket after the fact. Like, right, right. We, just been, we wanted to let everybody else play. That's yeah. why we saved Teaser t for towards the end. See, I keep hearing this from you, and I'm just not seeing it on the screen. Guys, can someone tweet at me and let me know what Lass is talking about when he says Florida and Georgia players are about to mow down our entire roster? I genuinely don't understand. Having some trouble wrapping my head around it. We have been talking about this whole time how like, the general education level of Tri-State is around that of kindergarten. It All right, look, seems man, about right. We're not about to get into like the socioeconomic, sociopolitical deal with like what's going on in the South in terms of education and like you know public school and all that. We're, we're just not going to talk about that, okay? We got it pretty good up here in the Northeast. All right. So let, maybe that's a topic we don't want to touch. At least a couple people children left behind. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> George Bush did irreparable damage to the educational system. <laughs> yeah, that may or may not have happened. Just like Dark Wizzy did irreparable, irreparable damage to Fatality's confidence with that one. I think he's probably going 97th tomorrow after that. Or 65th. He probably did qualify in winners. I'll give it to him. You know, he can make it out of pools that side. You know who also made it out of pools winners side? Pretty Teaser. much almost everyone in this crew battle, All right, you know, right? Fair, yeah. I can't even say. We, yeah. we only went up to top 128 today. So for, for these guys making it out of pools winners side, no thing. We'll see. Teaser, I don't know, man. He might know the Mario matchup. He might know his character wins it. Of course, Samus, just an obstacle for characters like Mario, who are very stubby. They fight with their body. They rely on that air drift. But nobody is built like fucking Dark Wizzy, man. Karama, Nobody, Karama nobody's Dark built Wizzy. like fucking Teaser. Look at that guy. Look at that gamer lean. He's, he's locked in. Double parry on the fireballs. Yeah, you got nothing. Wizzy can't even get in. He gets grabbed. That's 4 million percent coming up. I think it's a little bit less than that, but you are close. There's a four involved. Oh. I think it's still climbing. All right, hold up. Teaser is kind of fucking nice, dude. I've heard the legends. I've seen him play. He's That's very the woman good. pleaser right there. <laughs> Teaser, the woman pleaser. <laughs> Teaser, I barely even know her. Oh, running off the platform at the back. Wizzy can't even find a hit. Sorry, He's gotten one fireball so yeah. far. <laughs> Wizzy doesn't Wizzy. know what to do. He's never seen a man like Teaser. Yeah, Samus also a little tricky to combo. She is big and heavy, but that low falling speed can make it a little bit awkward, especially because due to her weight, she doesn't go into tumble as easily as some other characters when you hit them. Speaking of uh, going into tumble, Wizzy doing that an awful lot right now, especially yeah. on the ledge. Can't really find a way past that ledge trapping. Oh, he just did, though, and he's right back in it. Down throw not going to lead to anything. Again, Samus being floaty and heavy. Down to throw combo. up smash on Samus. Look, man, he's just freestyling. He's that confident. He knows he can try new shit, try to figure it and out. And miss new shit, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Get caught by Uppy, that's, some, that's not some new shit. Look, man, not every day is gonna be 100, okay? You're not, you're not gonna always get it right the first time. But Dark Wizzy can land this edge guard, surely, right? Up B, okay, tech that, dude. 
Nice reactions, bro. I mean, he did tech it. Yeah, and then he, he didn't missed the tech right after. <laughs> there was like five opportunities to tech in that. Yeah, tech that twice, please. Thank you. Then I'll be impressed. So far, though, Dark Wizzy doing a great job pulling this one back. He was down by so much at the beginning. Looking like he's having some trouble figuring out this sorcery at the ledge, though. Samus' bomb, such a thorn in the side of anyone trying to get back against it. OTs are looking for that charge shot there. Still not quite enough to kill Wizzy. 214. Maybe a little bit too high. I think you should go ahead and kill him, Teaser. You've, you've messed with him enough. It's good. 214 is plenty. He skipped 213. He's a fucking legend. Oh, the uh, Nair. Are you done? Are you dead? Wow, the blood. Wait, what are you cooking? What was he cooking, bro? It wasn't bro Teaser, wasn't that's for sure. Shit. He was not cooking Teaser. All right, well, cooked himself, I suppose. Got fried Mario. Actually, a little burnt, if you look at the costume. He's special for tonight. Very charred, Mario. Look, Teaser, Teaser doing the same thing right back. 168 on him. Wizzy, he's just going to take so much damage from every single interaction. He doesn't know what to do. He's up. Who are you up smashing? Oh, Who? Dark There's Wizzy. nobody up there. Please don't do this to me, man. This is looking like Teaser's about to take maybe even two stocks unresponded to. I just need anything. One clean hit. Okay, there we go. The back air finds it. Dark Wizzy's still alive. Even if he only takes that stock, we're still winning. But I would love to see one, if not two more, from the wizard himself. T's looking for that fair on Wizzy jumping off the platform. I think Wizzy's realized, though, that he can't really stand up to Teaser at close range, long range. So his only real option is just to run away. You know what, if he can do that for 95 more minutes, we'll maintain a three- Or he could just air dodge straight past the ledge. That oh, works too. Let's fucking no, go! No, he's still dead. Doesn't oh, matter. Who cares? It, Come on, Who Wizzy. Who cares? Come on, Wizzy, you got this, man! He had to do all that sorcery just to get charge shotted. Kind of embarrassing, not gonna Oh, lie. let's go! Even if he lost the stock right there, would have been just fine. Tri-State going up a minimum of two stocks heading into the next match, but I believe Dark Wizzy can take this one. Teaser got to find a way to start building this damage once again. Got to find a way to keep Wizzy out, but... He lets him right in. Didn't even lock the door. Didn't even ask him to take his shoes off. Goddamn, 50 damage from Wizzy. Wizzy's right. mud all over the fucking carpet, bro. <laughs> yeah, come on, Teaser. You gonna let him come into your home and do this? Actually, this is our home, I suppose. Oh, that's even oh. more embarrassing. Wizzy tracking mud over his own carpets. <laughs> Wizzy kind of dropping a couple combo opportunities. Gonna find another. Oh, parrying what exactly? He's fair. He doesn't care about fireball. He's got some fire of his own. Oh, yeah, Ooh. coming out. Back to the ledge Cole again. Raider. We've seen what happens the last couple times Wizzy's here, but okay, this may, maybe eventually he can learn the correct thing to do. Was he threatening the needle on those ledge traps? Oh, finding another grab off the nair. Okay, this is kind of a do or die moment right here. If Dark Wizzy finds the kill here, that would be so huge for Tri State. If we pull up four stocks, or uh, three stocks and potentially more. Oh, and he finds the read on the neutral getup, cornering himself perfectly right there. That made it so Dark Wizzy would be behind Teaser after the neutral getup. Perfect to line up that up smash. It is bigger in the back. And Tri-State, man, we are showing up this time around. Three stocks up. Make some noise for Tri-State, people. You hear them out there? I hear the ears. They love it. They love it. I'm not going to lie. I'm starting to feel a little bit worried. But I know, I know that the last three players on the side of the Southeast, they got some magic cooking. Last, I can appreciate that you've kept up this confident facade throughout all the blunders your team is making. But you know what, man? I think it might be time. Now I know for the how you felt to in Miami. Down. Yeah, bro, it's hard, isn't it? A little bit tough. But after that tweak comeback, right? You guys just need a tweak moment. Actually, uh, right, I'm I getting we, word that tweak I, has been drafted to the southeast on account of you needing him to no, make it interesting. No, 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 no. Oh, crazy. I, I, I'm, getting, I'm getting word from the uh, from the from the brigade down there. It seems, yeah, yeah. I'm just confirmed. I think we're sending in Goblin. I think that might be exactly what the Southeast needs right now. Didn't you guys need to save him for a particular player that he was your only shot against? I think we have plenty of shots against that particular player. I think the one we're worried about right now is the uh, the notoriously dirty shoot Dark Wizard. <laughs> He's tracking mud all over the carpets. So we got to get him out. Get him out of the New Yorker. 
I don't know, man. I think you guys are like rushing to print out a lease in Florida for Spargo to sign right now. If you want any sort of a hope here, uh, Spargo is actually he's he's my roommate. Oh uh, yeah, it's a two bedroom. <laughs> Lionel lives there too. True, yeah, uh, we, three bedroom. Sorry, yeah. Bring him in. in the equation. Yeah, I don't know. It's looking kind of cooked for the southeast unless somebody goes on a heroic run to even things up. Goblin, pretty good choice. I mean, that's a really damn good player, right? But so is Dark Wizzy. He's kind of having a renaissance as of the last couple months, right? Had a shaky period at the beginning of last year, but has True. been Wizzy. back in form. He's only got one stock left, too. That Again, I, I mentioned it with Cola, and Cola definitely made it happen. Only one tech chase. That's all that's necessary. I will say, Roy is a great pick to gain some momentum back in a crew battle like this. Character can go on multiple stock tears. When he's in the lead and you do have to approach him, man, that damage just can be flying. But down nine stocks to 13. Dark Wizzy looking so good. And I'm sorry, I keep getting the, the lead wrong. I kept saying three stocks, but it is in fact four. Again, oh, look at that very start. 22% already. That's practically kill percent on Smashville. I love it. Oh, he has the D tag, perhaps a bit of copium that Didi couldn't make it out. That said, you guys didn't have Wrath and Didi at Let's Make Moves Miami either. We didn't need him at Let's Make Moves Miami. I don't think we need him here. We got you Goblin and that's here. enough. You might need him here. It's the uh, one and only Goblin Ds. Goblin Ds what? I'll leave that for you to decide. <laughs> Goblin Ds, delicious snacks. And stocks. That is a big TBD. Oh. I don't think it's a big TBD at all. No, it's not. All right, Dark Wizzy going to fall. The lead for Tri-State shrinks from four to three stocks now. Goblin sitting pretty. He's got a full tank ready to go. Now, who does Tri-State send in to deal with him is the question. We got players like Jackal, PK Chris. Let me pull up the full roster just so I don't have to go off memory, you know. It's I think your, your four remaining are Jackal, Tweak, PK, Chris, and... Oh, oh. Well, we have a couple options, yeah. We don't oh, even, wait! We don't even need to they think sent, about it. They sent Tweak into Goblin. This is a statement. This is some confidence this by Tri-State. Yes, I remember in the planning phases of the last crew battle, there's a lot of talk about saving Goblin for Tweak to send him out as a counterpick. Goblin with an undefeated record against Tweak in tournament. But the fact that they're deliberately sending Tweak into someone who's considered to be his demon, that's a huge sign of confidence from Tri-State. I will say this is version four, Tweak. It is. It's a little bit of a, a, a scary prospect to come up against in the crew battle. But Go Goblin's not even looking at him. He does. He's without a care in the world. He's looking back at the peanut gallery right behind him. He's ready to do what he needs to. Yeah, again, just such a huge statement, right? <laughs> that shirt Goblin's wearing? Oh, top five world. <laughs> Is that Tweak's tag? I think it has is. to be, right? Goblin already. Oh, is that's Goblin? a statement. Yeah. Wow. Actually, I'm no longer worried. It's not version four anymore. Tweak, not even uh, lying at all here. He's second seed at this tournament, right? I think he's been on kind of a tear recently, starting with poor priority. It seems to be the mo uh, moment he got his mojo back as a player. Tweak with a bit of a slump throughout 2022 as well. We were talking about that for Dark Wizzy, but. Both of them back in a huge way, especially this Ooh, man. Ooh, interesting. Tweak covering the Sephiroth. I don't know if he's he's actually going to pick that or not. I would be kind of surprised. Oh, I think Goblin Diddy's changed his in-game tag as oh. well. Goblin's oh. in-game tag is 3-0, which just so happens to be his record versus Tweak. As long as it's not the amount of stocks taken between these two in this match, I'll be fine with it. I'm fine with Tweak losing here as long as he doesn't give up too many stocks. I think we got two pretty major statements coming out from the players by their in-game tags. And We'll see which one of them ends up bringing true as, yeah, Tweak does pick onto the Sephiroth, which I can see working out well if he just walls out Roy, but I'm also a little bit worried about him doing a little thing I like to call dying. <laughs> Sephiroth is very vulnerable to that kind of thing. Um, that said, has Tweak fought Goblin with Sephiroth before? I think it's been all, I think like a couple of them were like the Wario PT era, and then once was Diddy at, I think, Riptide, or maybe it was Low Tide. He played K Rule against him at DreamHack Atlanta 2019 as well. So, yeah, definitely a new character in the equation here for Tweak. I don't know if I like Sephiroth versus Roy all that much, but it, it can't be awful. You I do know. have a huge sword to keep him out. I will give Tweak the fact that we were saying the exact same thing about Fox back at Scuffed World Tour, and Me then he know. beat Light with Seph, so I wouldn't put it past Tweak to do quite literally anything, but the first thing that I'm going to put past him to do is get hit by Goblin and die. Yeah, X character might beat your local Sephiroth. Tweak, completely different Tweak story. Tweak is not your local Sephiroth. He's not your average Joe. Even if he is literally your local Sephiroth and you're from South Jersey or you go to Platinum Star, like, this guy is not from this earth. Let's put it that way. 
All right, he's got Goblin off stage. Goes for the side B. The Shadow Flare not going to connect. No Great edge stall guard. with that that wave bounce side B from Goblin. He he knows what he's doing. He's avoiding everything that Tweak's throwing his way. He's trying to make that statement. Oh, Tweak. Oh, oh yes, with the wing in play. Going to crush Goblin's first stock with a back air. Just going to plank the ledge as well. Roy with not he's much scared. to threaten that. He doesn't, he doesn't know what to do against Roy on stage. He's got to stay at ledge. I don't think Goblin knows what to do against Sephiroth on the ledge. He's stage trapping you. Remember that, folks. This character is so dangerous from that position, especially when you're a character like Roy who doesn't really threaten the ledge all that well. Oh, oh right through the spot no. dodge with the jab. Oh, oh thank I heard it. God. We all heard it. Robbed. Robbed. Didn't deserve it. Didn't earn it. God Goblin said knew. No. Oh, oh, there it is, another stock by the wayside, and now I'm starting to see the rhyme and reason behind Tweak's pick here. Sephiroth does eviscerate Roy off the stage with those counters. Scintilla, a real thorn in his side. Oh, and the wave bounce side beast from Tweak this time, trying to stay in there, apply some shadow flares, but no, Goblin finally taking this first stock down. Doing his best to, to at least keep Georgia with a fighting chance. And might be doing a little bit more here. Oh, the Shadow Flare saving his life there. Goblin had been able to go out and get one more fair. It would have been curtains. Oh, trying to jump over the juggles from Roy. No, Goblin well, with other intentions here. See that turnaround grab by Gob there, by the way? He's not normally. He's not normally. <laughs> Someone check him, controller. <laughs> Dude, that's one of the best copy pastas of all time. Oh, hold up. Tweak. Oh. Maybe floundering a little bit in yeah. the face of the one and only Gob. Was looking poised to take this with two stocks. Now, I don't know. See that? Yeah. The up air into the strong up air. All right. Goblin still with some gas in the tank. He's using that gas to go 100 miles an hour right in Tweak's face. See that combo? 35%. That's basically kill percent. Too bad Tweak is going to be healed to zero after he takes the stock. Maybe all, not. All that extra credit isn't going to mean shit. It's not extra credit when he actually gets the kill. Here it comes. It's gonna come in any second now. See, here it comes. There's another Nair. Tweak just kind of floundering. He's just throwing out moves. He doesn't know how to hit Goblin. Oh, hold up. This He's taking the lead. Scary. Oh, the side beat. Tweak has to run away. He's using that wing because he knows he has no other choices. Oh, if Goblin just swung forward, that might have been it. All right, Tweak, second lease on life here. Gets another chance. Goblin trying to keep that ledge nice and scary. Oh, oh, there it is! Wow, what a read there from Goblin, maintaining the advantage, beating Tweak in the head-to-head. -head. All right, and I will say, our ace has been taken down. Yeah, wasn't, wasn't that your, uh, your strongest player, right? How many stocks did he take? Only two. Yeah, how many stocks did our ace take? Look, I'm going to chalk that up to a bad decision by leadership on oh, the Tri-State's end. Goblin has some testing. words to say. Let's hear oh, it, Goblin. Oh, we Gob. can hear you. 3-0 and one crew battle. Try say you gonna take that? You gonna take that or are you gonna destroy this man's entire career right now? I need to see it. We need to put someone real strong in to make up for that loss. Again, Tweak being our ace player, that's devastating. We still got Zamba in the back. We still got Jackal in the I back. I see somebody's elbow on the stage. Zamba. I'm not sure who that is. I think it's Zamba. And it is. Oh yeah, that is, that is Zamba right there. All right, well. Florida and Georgia do have an answer to this player, particularly lined up. I can only imagine who's about to come in after Zamba makes quick work of this stock. I don't know. Zamba's record on the uh, the Roy Brigade, not the best. I think he's lost like the last three or four sets to Cola. I think Cola definitely sharing that info with his teammate Goblin. So uh, Zamba pretty notoriously not the best when he starts to go down and starts to get tilted. I think Goblin just needs to take one stock at the beginning and and it might be curtains for Tri-State's lead. Look, man, I don't even think there's going to be enough time for him to get tilted. He's just going to take one stock, walk away from it nice and clean. He's going to go, cool, that was light work. On to Anathema, who is inevitably coming in as a counterpick, right? Is there any doubt about that? I don't know. I think we got, we got plenty that could do pretty well into Zomba. But I think Anathema plenty might be Plenty such the as Anathema. Also Anathema. Chunky Kong. Players such as Anathema. Listen, Chunky Kong actually for a little bit had a positive record on Anathema in SFL. I will point that out there. My man was on the come up, you know. Chunky Kong is very good against Rob. Yeah, uh, no, Chunky's he's, he's got a mean Rob himself too. True. I saw him take a turning over Dominator with that. For the, the matchups that he hates as DK, yeah, he'll pull out that Rob. Sometimes he pulls out a Wario, but against Rob himself, 
DK is more than plenty, but we don't even need Chunky for Zomba. Z Gob's got this. So you said Zomba's got a bad record head-to-head -head against Goblin? I think against Cola. I don't know if he's oh, ever actually yeah. played Gob. All right, I was going to say, whoever the captain is must be faded than a hoe right now to send this guy in, but I think, I think we'll be fine. Zamba, top 10 in the world. Zamba what? Hey, Zamba, Zamba just lasered Goblin before the countdown happened. What is this? Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, they evened it out. 5.5 each. Are they just going to rock it? All right, we're going to reset now. Okay. No, they're playing it. He's with, real. He's I like real. That. He's I like real. That. I'll Huge give it to respect. Zamba. Gives, uh, gives, gives Gob the, uh, the grab pummel just to get that even again. I respect it. All right, I fully believe in Goblin here. I'm sorry, in Zamba. Whoops. No, uh, no, 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 you already no, said it. No, Too late. Nope. Uh, last hacked into my microphone. Used the voice mod. Oh, see? See what I say? Now nah, he's fine. Oh, oh, come on, He's Zamba. more than fine. All that, times to back down. Those Zombears, they don't be hitting like they did at SWT21. But... What? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All they need to do is mental damage, though. Wow, that was fucking crazy. Goblin just saying, you know what? Have it. Have it. I feel bad after what I did to Tweak. I'm just going to be a nice guy and let you guys have this one. After and what he did to Tweak, that. it was more than enough. He, he, he had done his job. He had taken out Tri-State's ace in the hole. He's not worried anymore. He trusts in his teammate. And it looks like one of those teammates is standing up and pulling out his controller. Yep. That is the one and only Steven Anathema. Well, can't say we didn't expect this one, folks. The history between Zama and Anathema. Zama's shaking. A bit unfortunate, so shaking to speak. Shaking in his boots. They did meet in bracket at Rise and Grind. Anathema, being the underdog, ended up taking it over Zamba. They also met head-to-head -head in the crew battle at Let's and Lose Miami. They were both their team's respective anchors. And Zamba kind of shit the bed, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but they once again will have even stocks, 3-3. Three to three. Listen, all I'm saying uh, is at Summit 5, the summit that oh, Anathema that? ended up going to, yeah. thanks to him getting second place at Rise and Grind, while everybody else was at the after party, I saw Anathema and Big Boss playing Rob Ditto's for like two hours. Now, I don't know God what this, have mercy I don't know what this souls, says brother. about Steven as a person, but I think it proves that he's pretty damn good at the Rob matchup just from that. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of experience in the way that he plays, it looks like that at least. Uh, he did kind of chop Zamba in their previous meetings, but that said, I think Zamba's learned, right? He's still young, his brain is a sponge. He absorbs this information. He improves, makes adjustments, he starts winning. So I think he's got it this time. Hopefully I'm not just on that hard hopium slash copium, but he's one of the best in the world for a reason. Anathema though, very quickly proving himself to be of that same caliber. He's, I'd say, risen through the ranks more quickly than most players I've ever seen. And very comparably to Zamba himself, who kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah, it was definitely just this like, kind of unknown SFL player. Like if you were from Florida or maybe just from specifically SFL, you knew Steven. But the, the world at large did not really understand what the, uh -huh. the demon that was sleeping down there. And then just out of nowhere, post-quarantine popped up, started winning. I saw something on Twitter that said, Ape Man isn't even the best Rob in SFL anymore. I'm like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. And then I saw and then I saw some results with uh, Anathema in them. And he was outplacing Ape Man, outplacing everybody, winning everything. But we have a six to nine score in favor of Tri-State. Nice. And uh, actually a no. six to eight Get the fuck score out of here, line. Man. How did this happen again? While you were partying, he studied the blade. He studied the gyro, <laughs> and he's gonna do it no, again. No, he's no. gonna. Oh. oh my god, dude! I swear, if he finished that combo, I was leaving the venue, never to show my face again. It's I'd... okay. He'll have plenty more chances to do that for the rest of this crew battle. I would steal the one thousand dollar prize pool and keep it for myself. Whoa! Not again. <laughs> Samba, please save the community. I love both of them, like, fairing in near sync. Yeah. This is a goofy oh! ditto. Oh! oh! No. What, what are we doing? What are we doing, Zamba? Please make it back. Please make it back. Oh, oh no! Yo! I'm, uh... I'm at a loss. He's just so much better. You got this from here last? Yeah, I got it. 
time, man. Plenty of, plenty of stuff to talk about with what's going on right now. And Asma comes back up to the stage. Another side B, no big deal. Zama tries to go for a falling up air. Doesn't work. And Asma's just that much better. And now he has a gyro in hand. Zama gotta be afraid. Just by the skin of his teeth makes it out of that. But don't worry. Plenty uh, more gyros where that one came from. Need we forget, Zamba bent 400 of his own, air quotes, channel points on the outcome of this match, obviously in Tri-State's favor, unless he's throwing he a bet against them. <laughs> all right, all right. We needed that. We needed the one. The Zombear still hits as hard as it once did. I will give it up for that, but I think that's all he's got. It's all the gas he had left in the tank. It took all that he had just to take that one stock from Goblin, and now this one from Anathema. He was already running on empty at this point. Oh, Zamba, please let me see one more, baby. You can do those same combos right back to him. They're playing the same character. I think that just means Steven's better. I will say, to Anathema's credit, he has spent a lot more time in the lab practicing those optimized combos. It feels like his on-hit game is quite a bit ahead of Zamba, especially in this matchup. Uh oh, back airs to the ledge. He Zamba stole his pops signature him up. move, Poser. Oh, uh, oh, no, no. Oh, come on. Oh, there we oh, go. Come on. Let's go. Zamba firing back. He's still alive. He's still awake. Tri-State still with a chance. We're going to be way past his bedtime. Who let him stay up? <laughs> We're going to be at minimum two stocks up after this one. And you know what, Zamba, he is the comeback kid. I've seen this guy make so many three to one comebacks before, including against players of the caliber of light, tweak. Maybe not tweak, actually. Maybe not That's anathema. Not uh, Definitely not light. anathema, actually. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. We're live. This is all we need. Those two stocks, that was good enough. Zamba complaining Zamba as usual. Zamba about his own character <laughs> to Anathema. <laughs> this character's so broken! That's not fair! Yeah. Rob loses this matchup 70-30. Yeah, why are you playing a top five character? My character's only top 25. Without a hint of irony, too. Like, Zamba, I know Zamba thinks this <laughs> matchup is bullshit. <laughs> but it uh. seems like Steven might have a couple words for the crowd. Let's hear it. Good game, I don't talk shit. Oh! He doesn't need to, the gameplay speaks for itself. Wow. Uh, but you guys are such counterpicking bitches. You're sending in a Mega Man for Rob, really? We counterpicked ourselves so charitably really? to put Tweak in on Goblin. Wow, you're welcome, by the way. You put a Mega Man in for and, Rob, that's all you can do. to follow up with Zamba while Anathema's still alive, practically asking for that Rob Ditto to happen, but We'll see who wins the real robot war. We got Mega Man, Dr. Light's finest creation, stepping up. Who made who made Rob? Nintendo? I have no idea. <laughs> Nothing on the genus of Dr. Light. But MPG hailing from actually Delaware, representing <laughs> Philly, which is why he's... Wait, yeah, he's not even Tri-State. Get him out. Shh. Get him out of here. Shh. We don't need what? to talk about that. What? Yeah, yeah. Delaware is basically just filler in between. Yeah, it's... It's the filler episode in between you New Jersey and Philly. You guys are cheating. All right, would you like us to have Connecticut instead so it could be Put the real Jackal Tri-State? Put instead. So we could have Ling and Light. Sure. I would rather that <laughs> than you? Rob Mega Man. I mean, we have one Philly rep, and it's MPG. I'll sub him out for Light. I'll do that right now. Yo, Light, Put you in Jackal the building? right now. Yo, Light, are you here? If so, get on stage. You're in. All right, either way, <laughs> this is pretty much wraps, guys. Anathema with one stock left. And after that, I think the heaviest hitters on the side of Florida and Georgia will be gone. Let's take a look at the roster. Just we, so we still have Chunky Kong. Yep. It's okay. You guys have Riku, Kobe. True, we got Chunky Kong. We got the Young Link Goat, Kobe. We got Chunky. I, I'm not worried. You should be. I, I'm a little bit worried. I'll admit. That's right, folks. Okay, here it is. MPG <laughs> versus Anathema. It is a, uh, it's six, it's six stocks to four. We have Jackal coming up being a little bit upset about some of the counterfeit decisions we've made here. He could have just gone in on Goblin, he says. But uh, either way, I think we got this. We made the ego pick and you guys are paying for it. Right, but we're not, because it's fine. It's six stocks to four, right? And see, we're, Anathema, we're down to the wire. Anathema's the honorable Rob. Zamba would never shoot the laser to reset the timer. That's what we have yeah, over you. Yeah, he also did laser uh, goblin He lasered before goblin go, during right? the yeah. timer. Well, okay. Those kind of grimy strats, that's what gets you ahead, man. Anything that's to win. That's all that Tri-State has costs. to resort to because they can't beat us normally. You know how New Yorkers are, bro. Optimized ways of living. Yeah, we're walking here. Come on. All right. MPG so far, tacking on some good damage. Nothing crazy. Just quick 70. And that might be... 
continuing to rack up as he makes this juggle, this offstage situation work for him. Oh, look at that corner pressure. What does Rob have for that? Top 25 character, you're cooked. Pretty much nothing, I'll be real. Yeah, no answers. Uh, I've bad heard character. horror stories about how bad this matchup is for Rob, and I'm starting to believe it. MPG, I might be cooking a little bit. I'll, I'll give that one to him. But Anathema still has plenty in him to take at least this stock here. Here it comes, ready? As dramatic as Zamba is about some of Rob's matchups, he's spitting sometimes. Sometimes he's not. This one I could see being very annoying, just being such a large target, having to get through the lemons. I mean, you've got decent speed, but uh, I don't know. Mega Man can really shut you out. MPG doing just that. Not just the superior robot, but the superior region. Oh, yeah, baby, that back air cleaning up the slash causer out. MPG sends Anathema to his grave, maintains the three stock lead here for Tri State. And you guys have one player left. Who are you putting it it's all on? It's chunky. Here Ooh. he comes. The crowd bowing down to the one and only DK God. Kowtow before him. He's here to save Florida. Shout out to Ken Gambit. Kowtow Cleave. True. All right, what a cool mon. I gotta, yeah, I gotta so say, sick. Gen 9, what a, what a cool couple mons. So sick. Yeah, Gen 9 has a really, really good uh, dex. But so does Tri-State. We are packed to the brim with talent. Ten of our best players stepping up, doing their thing. Well, actually, nine, because MPG is about to knock you guys out, send you packing. That's a long flight home, man. I'm so sorry. But the last hope for Florida and Georgia, it's going to be Chunky Kong. You guys really bet it all on Mega Man versus DK. Couldn't be me. Could be us. It, it definitely, we could have sent Steve. <laughs> We're this confident though. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. You guys would rather fight our last players with a Donkey Kong than a Mega Man. Huh? No. No. <laughs> Jack will be back with a ton. So, let's have a good match, Donkey. We'll be back with a ton. No, no, I respect my mom. Fuck that shit. Stop being sportsman like. Talk shit. You tell him his mom is ugly or something, bro. I'm going to need you to come harder than that, MPG. None of that sweet shit. I'm disappointed. Chunky, say something. Chunky, say something. A man of few words. He's just ready to play. He's locked in. Yes, sir. As everyone in this venue or this stream should be, there is still a window for Florida and Georgia to sneak by and steal this one out of our hands. But it's going to require a lot of uh, lucky occurrences, I don't to know, say that, the least. That window might be named Chunky Motherfucking Kong. And I've seen enough dash attack fairs in my day. I've seen enough bear, 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 bears in my day. I've seen enough ding-dongs yeah. in my day. I know what's coming here. Look, can I keep it a buck fitty with you? In the words of Riddles, Michael Kim. Uh, he's fucked. MPG just said that they practice a lot together. DK is one of those characters that can sham wow you if you have no idea what he's going to do, if you've never seen him before, right? But against an experienced player who's familiar with it, I don't know if you're going to have the same luck. Uh, this start ain't bad, though, for the monkey. It's all right. 65 damage. We that's, shake that off. That's ding dong percent. Keep in mind, he's got to get double value out of every stock here. MPG so far looking pretty good as long as he sets the pace. He's just got to get Chunky to last stock. Even two would be good. DK a heavy character, though. He's definitely like the in the position to tank those stocks. Dash attacking in, but okay. MPG gets an up air fair. That's a little bit extra damage. Chunky's able to get his feet back underneath him, though, because that's just how he rolls. Oh. Okay, gonna jump right over that. Again, not falling for the gimmicks. MPG, he's wise to all this shit. Chunky, oh, look at that, the desperation. Eat this Shoryu. Oh, oh you weren't, so you were complaining when Jazo did it, but when MPG does the Shoryu, it's Mega all good. Mega can't elbow or tippy toes you 500 times in a row into that for free. Oh, I could draw a fucking Z on my controller. I'm so skilled, you got me so excited. Just man, get that shit the fuck out of here. Oh, no. Chunky, get out of there. You're a big body in a blender, run. Oh, oh, the blender catching him. Yep, blending his shield down or just getting poked. I don't know. I think he got poked there. It's his DK. fault for playing DK, man. Player diff. Like, I'm smart enough to not pick Donkey Kong. Outplay it. Just oh. needs one grab, though. Yeah, that was scary. I thought he was going to find it right there on the back air. Oh, here's the up tilt. MPG knows his setups. They played together a million times in the... The Wi-Fi lands. But that's still not enough for him to get past, for him to be able to edge guard there. Like, DK, shouldn't he be easy to edge guard with Mega Man? Don't you have, like, the biggest disjointed dare in the game? I'll Doesn't really real. matter. Yeah, kind of a fraudulent moment missing that one. But we don't need... Oh, oh that fuck. giant punch. 
Oh my god. He's just giving him a, a warning shot. Fire across the bow of the enemy ship, Captain. Last, I'll drop the charades for a second. I'll tell you, I'm still a little bit scared. See, because he's about to die. Anything can okay. still happen. Okay, okay. as Mega long Man as he survived that, heavy. we're feeling good. Ooh, look at the pressure. He can't even, he can't even ledge trap. You can't ledge trap a big body like DK. What are you doing? One backer. One back air MPG. Oh my god, how did you not All hit he's that? done is give Chunky rage. It's okay, I'm stressing for no- Look at that! Whoa, whoa, Look at whoa, that! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Nice and easy, just tap it in. Just bring it home, MPG. We're right around the corner. One more stocks are coming out, but I think it should be five more stocks, right? Because Chunky's just making it interesting. As he finds that with the spinning Kong, no! Okay, he was giving him a little bit of false hope on coming back to the stage. There's no way Tri-State loses this if we go to our last player, right? In case Chunky Kong just I think out. you have to give Chunky Kong an extra grand if he wins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fast. <laughs> I'll pay out of pocket for that. I got some Christmas money. But it's not... Uh, I'll drop the facade too. It's not looking great for Florida right now. No, you guys are good. Pack it up. Maybe. Pack it up. I like to be an eternal optimist in more more ways than just in the game, but I think I'm letting the pessimism take over here. I don't think DK can take four stocks. That glass is looking half empty, brother. But you know what? You guys played your hearts out. Shout out to Kiki. GG's, we both played bad. <laughs> both played bad. I don't know about that. If us playing bad is still four stocks better than your region, that's cool. Uh, it, oh. just, it just feels like a matter of when more than if at this point. Unless Chunky can get something no. like that. No. Unless. Oh my God. There's unless, no way. Unless. Please. There's no unless, way. Unless. There's no way. He unless wins. Chunky no Kong way he wins. can get something like that. Now the final hope of Tri-State has to step up to the plate. Jude Jackal Harris. Let's see what you can do against the monkey madness. I swear to God, Jude, if you choke this shit. Why are you over there, Chunky? I'll never forgive you. That I don't think it's happening, though. I think he's just gonna not even lose his first stock. The Jude tricky Jackal part, Harris? More like Jude Chokel Harris. <laughs> see it coming. The tricky part here is that there's no way anyone's as prepared for Chunky as he is for them, right? That's where he wins. You might say, oh, I win on the character select screen when I pick a higher tier character. Chunky says, well, you aren't ready for mine, and I've bought a million wolves, a million Palutena's, Roy's, Steve's, you name it. He's coming in with the experiential advantage. Jackal, I think if he's not a coward, he'll DK ditto. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> No, I mean, no, Jude. No, Jude. that's the coward's way out. That's the option select. Because if you win, you're a, ga a gamer, a genius, whatever. If you lose, it's like, oh, well, I win DK anyway, you know? But with this whole region counting on him, Jackal is I not going to let this slip. You should send in player four instead of Jude. You know he's kind of fucking good, right? Let's let, let's let player four I play. Think he'll, I think he'd win. Three stocks to one I, against Chunky. Seeing Chunky versus Mute Ace as many times as I had, I would rather him fight Reggie. Yo, Jude. Pretty sure player four just won a local this week. Over Dude. some pretty damn good players. Seems like we have some some Yo. words from mm. the last defender. What do you think about this guy? Tell, tell me what you think. Sounds like he's scared. Tell him. Sounds like he's scared. You know? He's scared. He, like, he says he doesn't like Donkey Kong. Isn't that crazy? He doesn't like Donkey Kong. Why, dude? Leader so, of the bunch? Know him well? I'm sorry. I'm playing both sides. That's what I'm doing. You, you are playing both sides. I didn't even play, dude. You, you did not play. Picking Chris a little bit salty that they did Chris not send him in. You are from actually the, bench, the B talking Chris. the most shit. The B team? The B team. B is better than A. <laughs> you don't know your alphabet. I do. <laughs> All right, get these clowns get off the Get him off stage. the stage. Yo, can I get a year? All right, keep him on the stage. Can I get a one more stock? Failure. Apparently oh. not. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, they can't hear me. Copy him, copy him, copy him. I think that this is just the moment when Chunky Kong's name rings out across the Smash Brothers world. Facts. Everyone will know his name. For Everyone will so sing damn his praises. Dog shit that he couldn't even beat this free ass region. Free ass region, you say? Maybe yeah, for we're Chunky Kong. So easy to beat. Didn't get lucky at all in Miami, right? No buzz, no till day. We still don't even have till we, day. We didn't have Chunky Kong in Miami. That's you're true. about to you're That's about true. to you're that about to learn what we saved oversight. you from. <laughs> okay. 
We'll see. I, I already saw him drop two stocks to MPG. So as long as Jackal's able to just finish this one off, we're smooth sailing into the end of the night and into Sunday. Come a little on. bit of hopium for Tri-State. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow in singles bracket, you know, compare the Orion rank or uh, Barnard's loop stats and see who plays higher overall. I'm down for something like that. Stats nerds, if you want to get on that. See, like, who at, on average has like the better capita, play. Well, yeah. It's going to be crazy when, like, top eight tomorrow is, like, Cola, Anathema, Fatality, Moot, <laughs> Omega. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, that's, that's your top eight. Spoilers. Last leak the script right my here. Bad, live my, bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. They, they, whenever they give the commentators the script ahead of time, they're like, do not leak this. It ruins the whole tournament. Just couldn't keep his mouth shut. Now the Nintendo Ninjas are going to show up and take him out with a sniper. But we got, we got the Veggie Monster. The lean green <laughs> fighting machine. Broccoli Kong. He's out. The Lawn is here to fight. <laughs> the Lawn. AstroTurf, man. All right, here it is. Jackal on the Wolf versus Chunky Kong. You can probably guess who he plays. Got some gunshots to start things off. Oh, a bear right through the spot dodge. Jackal with a pretty nice combo to kick things off here. Oh, you have to catch that air dodge. American air dodge. Hurt. The American air dodge might hurt a little bit, but I, you know, he's he's building rage once again. Florida might be real close to the ocean, but it's still in America. Okay, Chunky gets center stage again. He's, he's back down. He managed to get out of that advantage state. And here's where he does his damage. Jude jumping away. And barely manages to make use of that bayonet. Yep, clipping him with the pistol whip right there. Neutral getup. Oh, even the oh, commentators read that, bro. Come that should have been a grab. Do better. That should have been a grab right there. Chunky, come on. All right, well, with this 100 plus percent lead, I'm going to go ahead and crown Tri State the winners of this crew battle. But well, can we so do it broken. in a three stock he, fashion? He paired. Oh, Chunky. Okay. okay. The Tri State twist. Yes, sir. Got to close it out with the signature move. Tri-State wins the crew battle, gets the revenge. You guys only won by one stock, but we won by three. Peculiar, peculiar. Quite interesting, to say the least. We'll run it back one more time. What's, when's the next yep. event coming? Collision, maybe? Uh, hey, man, I'm down for collision. I'm down for it's, let's make moves, it's Miami. It's 1-1 now. It's 1-1. I think that means we have a final score to settle. You guys got to bring your... We, you got to bring your Avengers. We'll bring ours. We'll make sure Chunky's in it. <laughs> Get Wrath and Didi to come out, True. man. They've been slacking on the travel game. Didi's, make it. Gotta, <laughs> Didi's like 14. He's got to stay up past his bedtime if he I wants know. to travel. Couldn't make it out one state away. I mean, I understand them not coming to New York, but you guys should have come to Miami, man. But, guys, we will have the tiebreaker rematch at some undisclosed point in the future. At this point, I feel like the people need it. They need to see it. We, we want on our home turf. You guys want on your home turf. Maybe we meet <laughs> we somewhere like in the a, middle, North a, Carolina. <laughs> we need like a, a completely, we do it in SoCal. Yeah, somewhere either right in the middle or completely removed from either of our home regions. That'll actually show who's the biggest grinder too, because right. whoever gets their, their main squad out all the way to SoCal, that, you yeah. know, they really want it. No, I like that. I like that idea, man. All right, well, guys, all shit talk aside, big shout outs to you, man. Great working with you for this. Thank you for repping your region. Guys, we're gonna put a cap on Let's Make Big Moves 2023 for the night, but the weekend is far from over. We still have the most exciting part of the bracket, the top 128 finals. I would say it's all best of five, but the whole tournament was it's best of five. It's already been all best of five. So show up tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash even matchup gaming, twitch.tv slash VG bootcamp. You know where to find us. You can catch guys like myself, Last, and many more rocking the mic. Some amazingly talented players, including I think every single every one. Every single one of, of those the people. All the of them battle. made top 128 winners. Yes. I believe. Uh, I, I think a couple were in losers, but they're still all top 128. They're all in top 128 to be certain. At least judging by the fact that they showed up and weren't too salty to play. <laughs> but that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's make big moves. Thank you so much for coming. If you're here in the building, we'll see you tomorrow, 12 p.m. sharp.